What's up everybody, a spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Elite Dangerous. Um, you'll notice we're in the extraction zone. I was actually just playing on my own because I wanted to rank up our um, contribution. And it's really close, like tier 10 is almost there, so this is almost over. Um, we're currently in the top 70, but I think we can do better than that. Um, I'm sitting on I'm sitting on 1.4 almost 1.5 million um, to turn in, but I had to start recording here. I was actually gonna wait a little while longer, but I was going through, wasn't paying attention, just like listening to music while I'm killing all these guys, and then I noticed this. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we are about to take out Wonder Bra. <laughs> Now, there's a couple of th ways you could do this. It might just be that it's late at night for me. Um, this could be Wanda, like Bray, or, you know, it might be like, I don't know, maybe more along the German vein of like Wunderbra, like Wunderbra or something. I don't know. But as soon as I saw it, all I could think of was Wonderbra. And I died laughing. And I was like, I am about to kill an anaconda named Wonderbra, basically. It's probably Wanda now that I look at it, but just my knee-jerk reaction was Wonderbra. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute. Is that right? So I couldn't help myself, so I had to start recording here. Ow! He's got a couple of sidewinders with him, the jerk. But I found that if you kill the anaconda, the, the sidewinders run away. It's pretty hilarious, actually. Ow! Stop it! Stop it! Let me let me kill one Wonder Bra. All right, eighteen. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! You're right there. Yeah, we got him. Her, maybe. Ninety-nine thousand. Yeah, where'd they go? There we go. I did find out. Um, I don't remember setting this up. I really don't. Um, but. With my PlayStation controller, the way I have it set up, the triangle and down hotkeys will actually select the nearest hostile, which is pretty cool. I did not know it would do that. Um, so we are definitely in a uh, at least a mixed instance this time, maybe a large. I've seen tons of... Um, not so much anacondas, I've only found about four, and I've been playing for about like a half hour, 45 minutes, something something like that. We've probably found like a good six to ten federal dropships and probably like eight clippers. Like, I mean, we're definitely in a bigger instance that uh, the the bigger stuff is, is coming to play kind of thing. I'm surprised that the anacondas aren't showing up more though. Um, it might be where I'm hanging out, like area-wise. So I want to see what's going on up here. Because there's some kind of shootout going on. And I want to see what kind of ship this is. That looks bigger. It's hard to make out when it's on the backdrop of the sky. Yeah! Anacondas do tend to hang out up towards the higher parts of the asteroid belt. They don't always... Oh, he's at 125 without being scanned. Awesome. Uh, they don't always hang out up at the top but they usually hang out up at the top. And you might be wondering why I'm not, like, putting things into my engine so I can get up there faster. I'm actually putting them into my system so that my shields come back faster. I think he just might have wiped out the fed ships that he was attacking. Under attack. And again, uh, beautiful ship like an anaconda running without shields makes no sense to me. Like, it's probably able to hold the biggest power unit you can have, and they decide not to use shields. It baffles my mind. Come here. Come here. There you go. Oh, so close. Two, and bail. Oh, 185. Oh, yeah. Alright, so let's head back over here. What are we at now? I'd like to at least get to 2 million. 
before we turn our, our stuff in, but I'm kind of keeping an eye on how close this bar gets up there because we need to get back pretty quick. I'm guessing, I'm not positive, but I'm guessing 40 billion credits is probably the tier 10 cap. I'm guessing. Because it looks to be about three quarters of the way through and it's at 37, so I'm kind of thinking another billion will probably be the the turning point. Um, let's see. While we're doing this, though, I'm going to probably take a break here and let my shields come back naturally. Like, um, I could jump in and out, but I want to stay in this instance because I'm having really good luck in this instance. Um, so I think I just want to leave everything on system and just kind of let it float for a minute. Um, so let me do that. I have some stuff to go over. Some of you that have seen my recent Space Engineers episode yesterday um, probably know kind of the same stuff, and I'm probably going to repeat it a little bit, but for those of you that just watched my Elite Dangerous episode, stuff like that, um, I want to kind of clue everybody in. So I'm going to take a quick break, let my shields come back, and uh, then we'll go from there. Okay, so I know my shields aren't completely back, but... I found our next prey, which is Red Eye here. 140,000 bounty without scanning. So, yeah, I have two shield layers. I should be fine. Um, so, since we've kind of gone through this route before and kind of gone through the motions, um, I wanted to talk at you guys a little bit. Again, some of you that watch my Space Engineer episode know where this is going. Um, Recently, I've kind of decided to change up my channel a little bit as far as how it's going to work. Um, I've always wanted to get more into like higher concept machinima series and things like that. Um, for those of you that see have seen our uh, Dog Squad stuff, that's kind of the stuff that I would like to be doing more of. Um, and I've <laughs> if you've seen Dog Squad, well, then you know that it's taken me like probably a good six, maybe even closing in on seven months to get the next episode out. And that's just terrible. I mean, that's awful. Everybody was like, yay, these are really cool. When's the next one coming out? And I'm like, I'm working on it. Yeah. And yeah, it just never happened. And it's because I've been putting out like three episodes a day. I just really haven't had time. Um, it's been, the footage has been recorded and stuff for like a month. And I really just hadn't had time to sit down and edit the thing together and, and focus on doing it right and everything. And so it kind of just kicked me in the in the in the teeth the other day when I was like, man, has it really been like that long, you know? And and so um, I kind of decided to, I guess, trim the fat, if you will. So I'm doing away with almost all of my Let's Play series, with the exception of um, three main branches, if you will, three main series, and that is. Uh, my Space Engineer stuff, my Elite Dangerous stuff, and my Subnautica stuff. And tentatively, it's still kind of in the works as far as how it's going to work exactly. Um, I don't know... Oof! Beautiful. Um, I don't know if it's like an ironclad kind of setup as far as if it's permanent, but my current tentative schedule is going to change to like... Um, what did I say? Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are going to be Elite Dangerous, like normal. I mean, normal episodes. I'm not doing anything different with what I'm doing in the content, just changing how many episodes are coming out and things like that. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday should be Elite Dangerous. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays will be Space Engineer Survival. And I believe my Space Engineers Inspiration and Programming series will probably stay where they are on uh, Sunday and Saturday, respectively. And then I will probably be doing Subnautica on Saturday and Sunday as well. Um, and then throughout the week, because I'm only doing one episode, it will give me more time uh, to focus on doing things like uh, Machinima series, like Dog Squad. And actually, I haven't, I kind of kept it under wraps because I wanted to surprise everybody, but this is kind of some of the things that I'm talking about, is um, Caden Redpro from Infinity Gamer, who also helps me out on Dog Squad and stuff like that, has, uh, we've been in talks about doing 
a spin-off type of thing, a sub-series off of Dog Squad. But again, it's been all theoretics because we haven't really had time to sit down and work it out, so... Um, those are the kinds of things that we're going to do more of. We've got two more episodes in the Season 1 of Dog Squad. The next one should be coming out... Uh, let's see, hopefully today or tomorrow, depending on how everything works. But it should be like today, I think, uh, when because this should be going up Friday. So I'm pretty sure it'll be. I'm pretty sure it'll be later today or something. Um, so there's that's kind of an example of already the kind of uh, resources I guess it allows me a time and time and energy is that like something that's been put off for like a month I can just go ahead and do in like an, uh, a day because I'll have like a, an entire day to work on it um, so it's stuff like that it's just that a lot of my let's play series while fun and I have enjoyed them thoroughly and I know some people will miss um, cutting some of the series and uh, for that I apologize but I kind of I'm trying to balance what's best for my channel and kind of go with the route that I want to be as a content creator and I prefer, I, I like to do more of the machinima and story base and stuff. I think they're fun and entertaining and things like that. Ouch. That's what you do when your guns won't work. You just bash them with your ship. Um, and, you know, in, at the end of the day, as, as much fun as I have doing almost all of my series, uh, quite frankly, uh, Elite Dangerous, Space Engineers, and Subnautica are far and away my my more important series as far as if any of you decide to check it out yourself um, the view counts, the likes, the comments all that, like, they're far and away my my most important series is those three franchises, if you will um, so those were just things that it was like, I can't get rid of those they're just, they're like my bread and butter the other ones were fun they just weren't um I guess performing enough to merit the time that it was taking away from my other higher concept series that I'd like to do. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of where I'd like to go with it. Um, so I hope everybody is okay with that. And, and I mentioned this in my um, I mentioned this in my late, uh, latest Space Engineers video where I talked about this was that I hope that the promise of doing more. And not just not just uh, actually getting to them and releasing what we are already planning on doing, but actually doing more series and looking into other things and revitalizing some other ones like crash logs and things that have kind of fallen into disarray just because I've never really had time to work on all of them. Um, for those of you that still remember the series, uh, crash logs was one of my mine my first Minecraft machinima type things, and in the last episode that I did, I kind of moved it into 3D and was going to do things with Blender and make them actual 3D animations, which take a lot more time to do than a simple Minecraft machinima. And when I did that, my Let's Play started picking up and things of that nature, and so then I kind of put it on the back burner because it took so much time to work on it, and it's sat there ever since. And it's very, it's really disheartening to me that, that some of those series that people enjoyed but were more time-consuming to make just never ended up going anywhere, really, because I just didn't end up having time to do them, uh, you know. So at the end of the day, there's only so many hours in the day. Um, and I'm choosing... I don't know, it just seems like the thing that I feel I need to do for my channel at the moment. And for myself, as a, as a content creator. Um, but I just want to move it more towards what I want to do more, and I would like to get more into those. And focus more on them and put more time and energy into them. So in that respect, something has to be sacrificed. Um, so I just hope that everyone will be okay with it, and you know, it's like I'm keeping my main series, they're not going anywhere. Um, actually, I'll be doing more Elite Dangerous now that I think about it uh, this way. So I'm sure the people that are... Oh, all I watch is your Elite Dangerous video. I'm sure they'll be happier. I take that back. I won't be doing more because I usually did two on the weekends that I forgot about. Um, so I'll be doing one less, I guess. But, eh. Like I said, there's only so many slots that you have to, to work with, so... Um... And I, like I said, I don't know that it's permanent or anything like that, but there's just been uh, a, a, a real big drive for me to work more on my, my higher concept 
projects as opposed to just let's plays all day, three episodes a day. Um, and I just didn't have time for it. So that's kind of a update, if you will, on where if, if you start noticing, man, there's just not as much activity on the channel because, you know, there's not as many videos coming out. There's not three a day and all that stuff. Just kind of a heads up. That's why. And that's what's going on. Um, oh, come on. He's got 4%. I never thought I would see the day where I can just sit here and talk to everybody and, and leisurely take out anacondas. That's just weird. I'm still not used to that. Rodian! Oh, Rodan. Never, <laughs> never mind. Thought we had a Star Wars name. I mean, we started with Wonderbra, after all. That was so funny. I couldn't believe that. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I, I hope everyone will be okay with that. I know I'm excited. I'm really excited to, to work more on some of those projects, so I'm, I'm hoping everyone else will share my enthusiasm with it. Um, but as always, I mean, let me know. Give me your feedback and things like that, but it is probably how I'm going to proceed moving forward at the moment. Um, but I'm open to, you know, people being like, oh, I don't want you to do that and things like that. But just kind of take that with a grain of salt as far as... At the moment, it is kind of the direction I'm taking my channel, so you're more than welcome to voice whether or not you like or don't like that idea. But I'm I wouldn't I wouldn't really hold your breath for it not going that way just to just to kind of give you a heads up that they, you know oh maybe if enough people tell him is eh. I guess if enough people told me I wouldn't, but I had enough positive feedback on some of those machinima series and stuff that I think if I promise to do more of it and work harder on them I have a feeling that most people would be supportive so just just kind of venting my thoughts and things like that and letting you guys know where my head's at and where my channel's going to be heading for now um but like I said I'm not crazy enough to get rid of my bread and butter series I knew better than to scrap elite dangerous and space engineers I would have a mutiny on my hands <laughs> <laughs> I would probably see my subscriber count go down by like three quarters or more. Um, so, I'm not that crazy. Wow, this guy's going down quick. I did not realize he was already at like 10% hull or power plant. He went down fast. Oh, we are making money. Oh, now we're talking. Now we are talking. Now we're getting some anacondas. Yeah, I actually am recording this on Wednesday night. I wasn't going to record this until Thursday afternoon, but I was like, I just had one of those six Sense things where I'm like, the event's going to be over. Like, I'm going to wake up Thursday and log into play, and it's just going to be over. Um, and so I was like, yeah, I got I to gotta make one last push. Where are we at? 37... I'm pretty sure it's gonna be 40 billion. Um, so yeah, I was just like, I, I gotta, I gotta go for it. And, oh, are we doing good? Like, what is my... We're at 2.3 million already. Now granted, um, I am, I've been playing for probably about a half hour to maybe an hour, but probably closer to a half hour. Um, half hour, 45 minutes before I started recording. So we're probably closing in on about an hour of playing. So 2.3 an hour, not terrible at all. I mean, that's actually really good for me. That's probably the most amount of money I've ever made in this game. Ah, uh, come on. Ouch. I kind of am... Ooh, that was weird. I'm kind of mixed about these anacondas that roll with just chain guns because it looks really scary because you're getting pelted with like multiple shells from every direction but then when you're actually watching your shield you're like they're not really going down that bad and then it's like you find um you know one that's rolling with lasers and your shields just plummet and you're kind of like oh Ooh, Rodan! You've been bad! Oh! 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 Come on! Come on! Come on! 
Get over there! Get over there! No! 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 That was 94 grand! <laughs> it was 94,000. Eh, it's whatever. I'll, I'll get more. Gosh, I never... When I first started playing this game, man, I never thought that like I would be like, meh, 94 grand. It's whatevs. 94,000, like 100 grand was just billions of credits in this game when I first started playing. Where are you? Oh. I love how these guys are scanning me. It's like, I've been here for over an hour cleaning up your extraction site, getting rid of pirates, and you're gonna attack- you're gonna scan me and be like, hmm, what are you up to? Like, you crazy lunatics. Is that a clipper? That's a clipper. I don't know that I can ever beat that one name. Just Wanda Bra. <laughs> I swear it's probably Wanda. I don't care. <laughs> Just the first thing I looked at it, I'm like, Wanda Bra? What? In hindsight, it probably was Wanda, but I like I like the other one better. It sounds way funnier. Oh wow! He lost complete hull integrity. That was unexpected. I'm always afraid of getting run into now. Oh, and I do think I don't know if you guys have com you probably have already commented on it, but I'm pretty sure what happened in the last episode when I got wanted was um, that when that. Uh, allied police viper flew over top of me. I was firing my beams, and so I think he ran into my beam and didn't just hit me. I think he hit the beam, and so it took it as an attack, which is still stupid. I mean, come on. I was clearly not attacking that guy. Um, I feel like they should introduce something to where it's like, if... Jeez, how would I do that? If I was the Dez, you could do something... I guess you could do something to where, like, if the target... Or if something got hit, but you were locked onto another target, to interpret it as, like, basically just random flying into somebody's line of fire and not give you a bounty or something, maybe? I don't know, maybe they want it to be that precise that if you do anything, you get a bounty for it. I don't know. I don't mind that, like, if you screw up and shoot. What I don't like is when they fly into your beam. Like, that was off, out of camera, out of frame. I didn't even see the guy. So I felt like that was a little bit of a chip. I'm sure you guys have already commented on that and told me a billion times uh, what happened. Because I usually get that when I when I screw something up or something goes wrong. You know, I'm like, oh, what happened? And then I'll, that's all my comments are for that whole video. is just like, oh, you did this. Which is fine. I don't care. But it's just like everybody can see it but me. And then when everyone explains it, I'm like, uh, that makes more sense. Alright, um, let's park it here for a second. 2.4 million! And 124,000 in Federation to boot. Now, these other ones I'll have to turn in later because I don't feel like waiting that long for them. And I'm so mixed about going back yet. Like, yes, we have 2.4, but I'm wondering if I could, I can do, I can do more. <laughs> so I tell you what, we're just gonna keep going. We're only at 20 minutes. My episodes usually tend to run like 40 minutes long, give or take. Um, which is very surprising. I have to be honest. I really expected everybody to get bored. That it's just like I've seen you kill anacondas for like three episodes, and you do it the same way. And it's just killing more anacondas and stuff. So I really expected there to be more, like, you know, outcry for some diversity. Go exploring, go do trade routes, go mining, do something. I don't know. And every time I mention it, everyone's like, no, no. Back to the extraction site. Go, go kill things. It was very surprising. I was like, okay. So. I'm on a hunt. Where is everybody? Uh. I really hate that some of these white 
spots will show up as those yellow flickers, like, oh, there's ships in the area, and then you fly over and it just turns white, and you're like, oh, it's just debris or something. You look like a big ship, if I can see you from over here. I think my shield's recharged, so I can go full engine. That's gotta be a conda. No, that's... debris. Wow. <clears throat> I knew that. I knew that the whole time. I was just testing you guys. Mm -hmm. Just testing to see if you picked up on that. Whoops! <sighs> that could have been bad. I tried to tab over and instead I fired my lasers, which had he not scanned and been shown wanted yet, and it hit him. I could have been... had my own bounty again. Oh no. I'm not letting you go anywhere, buddy. Wow! Nothing like burning through them. Uh... That went well. Jeez. That went like really well. Alright. See, like, all these specs, half of them are going to end up being... Ooh, Python! It's kind of crazy I've done this enough now that I'm getting decently good at spotting ships when they're not on my radar or anything yet, either. Scan detected. I'm scanning you first. He's part of a wing. That Sidewinder's got to be his... Buddy. I do so love when they have like it's a big ship like a conda and then they have like a sidewinder that shows up and you're just kind of like whoa what was that sound I think I just hit something <laughs> Woo! I will say once I get a clipper I'll probably be happy but I am gonna have to get used to something that's more lumbering and not as maneuverable as this vulture because this thing Man, is this thing maneuverable. You can just fly circles around everything and it turns on a dime. This thing is pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, kinda. That's an asteroid. Almost ran into that. Path Warden. That's a weird name. 98? Nice. I'll take it. Oh, and no shields. Gosh, it's like a gift wrap. It's like gift wrapping. Hi, guys. Don't mind me. I'm just going to fly in behind you real quick. Scan detected. Boom! Oh, should not have accelerated. Under attack. Not a good move. Almost ran into him. Definitely ran into him that time. Okay. Somebody needs to move here, guy. There we go. Oh, he's already dead. Oh, what? Oh, wait, that makes more sense. <laughs> I did the hostile thing, and it was just like, Anaconda, and I'm like, no. Oh no! Oh, I got him! Oh, it was a cobra! I can hardly tell cobras and sidewinders apart because they're basically the same shape, just one's bigger. <laughs> what are you? What are you? Hopefully, you're not debris. Ooh, dropship. That'll work. Where'd he go? 100 grand! Heck, yeah. Scan detected. What do you carry, I wonder? I carry death and destruction. Of your ship. How do you make a living? Like this! Under attack. <laughs> I mean, really, who uses a vulture as a cargo ship? Do anybody really... Does anybody really do that? I'm not actually being sarcastic. Like, I literally want to know if anyone ever uses a vulture as, like, a cargo ship. I mean, it... 
I guess it makes sense. It has like a default of a 16 ton cargo bay. I guess you could. It just seems like it's not really built for cargo and it's built for fighting. Oh, and one question I had. I don't know. I think we'll be able to buy a clipper um, after this event. I'm pretty sure. Even without selling my vulture and stuff, I'm pretty sure I'll have enough money to do it. Just between the money I'm making off the bounties and then the money I'll make off the event, I think it will... I think it will come out in the wash. Like... We're at 2.7 million right now. I keep going back and forth to make sure. If we did nothing else, we're set to make another 2.5 million. So that's basically 5 million. And we're at 16. So 5 and 16 would be like 21 million. Which, ah, that, that would be like barely. But if I went to the founder system, I could probably buy one for like 20. Um, anyways, I think I can get a clipper, but I'm not always up on all of the newer release information. I, I read the newsletters and stuff, but like all the ship stats and everything, I'm not always up on the latest. So my curiosity is this new, what's it called, the Imperial Courier? I think that it looks like a smaller version of the clipper. Uh, my question is... Which one is better for combat? Because I know the Clipper is like... I don't know, it seems like the Courier, just by its name, is more built for... Trade? And like, um... Yeah, well, trade routes and stuff like that. Um, just because it's a Courier, I would think. But I don't know as far as I know some things you can, like the Explorers and stuff, you can trick out to where they're fitted for combat and not just for exploring and things so um, I don't know how the hard point systems and things like that or what kind of power plants you can have or any of that kind of stuff on the on the courier are so I don't know how it compares to the clipper I'm guessing it's gonna be the same type of thing and just like a stripped down smaller version and probably cheaper is my guess but I have been very wrong on this game before when it comes to, like, which ship is better and which one I should do and stuff. I wasn't going to buy the Vulture. I thought it sounded weaker than the Viper. Turns out, not so much. Um, you know. So. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about that, but more than likely, unless somebody just, you know, comments and is like, oh, the Courier is going to be so much better for combat or something... I'll more than likely go for the Clipper just because it's big. It's like you're moving up to, sh to like, big ships. You know? You're, you're kind of moving into that, uh... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Power plant. Um, you know what I mean? Like, you're kind of... Like, look at that thing. Look, uh, it says Carrie Pate. For a second I thought it said Katy Perry. I was like, wait, what? I know, it's not really that close at all, it's just my eyes. Um, but, yeah, it's just like, it's a bigger, like, cruiser-looking type ship. And I think when I... I mean, I did the... What is it, the shipyard website, where you can, like, build it all out, and once, once I got it maxed out, it was something like I had all the firepower that this vulture has, and then I had like two other like medium beam lasers, and then it could support it at 100%. And it wasn't over the power unit. It had shield boosters and cell power cells and or shield cells and all that. It was like, oh my gosh, this thing's gonna be beast. So I'm kind of thinking of going with the Clipper anyway, just because it's awesome and huge and awesome. <laughs> Did I mention it was awesome? I'm, I'm just a sucker for the the white design with the blue exterior, interior HUD. Oh. Oh. And I know, I've been, I've been given it multiple times in comments and messages and stuff, I know there's a way you can edit the XML files and change the color of your HUD to where whatever ship you're flying, it's like blue and white and stuff like that, which would be amazing, but I just feel like it's kind of cheaty. 
that it's like, it wasn't designed like you weren't supposed to be able to do that. But somebody figured out how to? I don't know, maybe that was included in the devs, but I didn't think the devs included that. Like, it was just something that somebody found you could edit the file. And plus it kind of took away from the clipper's design to me. Uh, because the clipper was more like... You know, it was one of the few ships that had like a blue interior and stuff, and so it was kind of like it felt like that was supposed to be different. Um, I don't know. It's just me. I just think the clipper is like awesome. As soon as I saw its interior, I was like, I'm, I'm sold. I don't care. Uh, I told, um, I actually told Caden that when, when I was talking to him about playing Elite, that I told him, I sent him the concept art when they announced the ship, and uh, I told him that I was like, I don't care what type of ship it's for, like it could be a hauler, I'm going to find a way to convert it to a combat ship. I was like, that's just, I'm, I'm gonna do it. Oh my gosh, we broke three million in bounty credits, or uh, alliance credits right now. That is awesome. How's our overall doing? 3.7. Hmm. Oh, that's a clipper. Looks like a clipper. And I don't know what it's fighting though. Oh, Python. Come here. That one. Ha! Ah, getting good at that. Getting good at calling them. That actually looks like a dropship too. Come on, get closer. Get closer. Yeah, that is a dropship. Wait, are they in a wing together? No. I've never seen that before. I think they're just going after the same ship. Every time I see an NPC wing, it's always like a main ship, like a clipper or something, and then like a few fighters like Cobras or Sidewinders. I have never seen like an Anaconda and two dropships or something as a wing. That would be kind of... I think that would be just OP that unless you were flying an anaconda or something that would just be like yeah don't don't even try it all right come here buddy and i'm going after your f dropship friend next Ooh. ouch clipped him hey i clipped the clipper Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's a dropship. Let's see what they are, and we'll go for... Ah, screw it. We'll go for both of them. Oh, crap. I hate when I pass their power plant using the hotkey thing, because it's like, it kind of defeats the purpose of trying it in the first place. You choose death then! No, no, I just, I choose money. Ow. Stop poking me. I still think it'd be funny if you could target the, uh, the, the uh, canopy. That would be cool. Like in the sub-targeting, it's like, I want to target the canopy and just shoot out the glass. Leave them to fend for themselves. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just realized I have two other ships on me. It must be his wing. Woo! Yeah, they're little buzzards. Come here, little guys. Wow, somebody just run in, ran into something. I'm not sure what that was. Oh, no, it was the Viper behind him that hit him. He was shooting at him, I guess. I see you over here, Thornycroft. What? Casper Thornycroft? What the heck kind of name is that? That's right up there with Wonderbra. Thornycroft. Casper Thornycroft. Ahoy, Casper Thornycroft. You any, uh, distant relative to, uh, like, Laura Croft? Like, great uncle or something? You don't have to get offended, dude. Just ask a question. Scan 
Oh, I'm getting scanned by a pirate as I'm killing a pirate. Sense this makes none. Alright, so who's scanning me? Ooh! Ooh! Yes, please! One anaconda coming right up. And we ordered it extra crispy. Point of fence, point of fence. So many things. Power plant. He's got lasers. Need to be careful. Stay out of the laser firing radius if we can. Probably can't, but we can try. Ow, ow, ow. Ooh, get in behind him. Get in behind him. I always have an easier time avoiding their weapons. on the back by their thrusters. I don't think unless they... <sighs> Woo! I don't think unless they have um, turreted weapons that their weapons can reach back behind them like that, so it's kind of a blind spot. If, they, if they're gonna have one, it's usually on their back by their thrusters. Come on, come on, come on. Take him down before my shields go down. Yeah! Boom! Another 85 grand to add to the pot. 3.2? That doesn't seem right. I feel like we did more than that. I mean, it was three just a second ago. Ah, eh, whatever. Um, so let's head back over to uh, Townsend. And we are going to probably submit our final uh, submission for this event of 3.29 million and see what bracket that puts us in. Uh, where is it? It's 78 something or say Majoris. Sure. Oh, jeez. Will it let me go through there? I thought it wouldn't let me go if there's like an asteroid in the way. Huh. <laughs> that would suck. It's time to turn. And let me do it. All right, so I'll meet you guys over there. Alrighty, so we are back at Townsend Hub. So time to claim our bounties. Make money. Let's see what money we get. All right, so contacts. It's not. Oh, it is local security. Okay. So, 3.29 million. What? 19 million. We're almost at 19 million just from that. I think I did my math wrong. Alright, top 40%. What? So, we're at 4.5 million. I don't know how close I am to the top 40% that I might get bumped out of there by the time the event's over. I'm not sure. But uh, I think we're going to wrap things up for this episode. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!